What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys today. My hair is looking crazy. <laughs> um, but today we have a brand new Town Hall 9 farming base for you guys. Um, I just built this a second ago. As you can see in the picture right now, it's looking pretty good. There's a lot of different sections to it, so that's really going to help protect your resources. Um, but first off, as you guys can see, it's healing up pretty nice, the new tattoo. Um, if you guys want to know the story, it's from the Bible. Go to Daniel chapter 3 and you'll read it. Um, that's what this is all based off of. Some of you guys are saying it's a stupid idea and that it's going to ruin my business career and stuff. But as a graphic designer, it doesn't really matter if you have tattoos or not. Um, it's just an awesome way for me to talk to people about what I believe in. So... Yeah, but anyways, what we have today is a Town Hall 9 farming base. I have the design pulled up over here on the left um, that I'm going to be using to go through all of this. So, yeah, I'm just going to talk about it as I go. But as I just said, you know, there's a lot of sections in this to really help it out. Um, and I'm not doing a hog base or anything like that since they kind of got nerfed. People aren't going to be using them as much anymore, I don't believe. Um... So why don't we just go ahead and start off with the center of this. Right now I'm really really trying to protect my Dark Elixir as best I can because I'm super close to upgrading my Queen to level 11, um, like seriously a thousand away. <laughs> so I've been on for a while trying to make sure that I don't get um, raided while I'm off. But um, yeah, so the center you can see we have Clan Castle in the middle as well as Dark Elixir and our X bows as well as Gold because um, I'm trying to upgrade and I'm trying to upgrade all my walls and it's going to take forever I think we have 25 of the uh, level 9 walls, which isn't that many. We still have a whole lot to go, but We'll get there eventually this glitch right here always happens in like every single base build video that I do um, Next we're gonna bring in our mortars uh, splash damage as I always talk about is super important um, and I'm gonna triangulate those around the base just like this there's another wall glitch um, so you can see those are triangulated and they cover pretty much the entire base uh, So those are in really the perfect place that they can be for this base design um, Next we're going to bring in our wizard tower, which Obviously <clears throat> helps out as well with the splash damage and we're going to put those around the base um, Also, I'm going to bring in these two elixir storages right here for that wizard tower to protect um, I'm going to bring in another gold storage right here as well as another wizard tower. So you can see they're already uh, triangulated, working their way around, protecting the resources in the middle of the base, uh, like the dark elixir, as well as around the base. Uh, the next one's going to be up here just to protect this point, um, along with a cannon and an archer tower. I said that backwards. Uh, I didn't remove the Teslas earlier, so as you can see, we have our Teslas around the base as well. Um, these are in here with two traps, so any giants or anything that comes in there are definitely going to regret breaking in there. I have this double section of walls right here to protect this core that has our mortars in it, and then we're going to help protect those mortars as well with some um, archer towers. Next, we're also going to bring in archer towers right here, as well as some air defenses here and here and some cannons. So this whole little top section right here is protected really, really well when it comes to defenses. Um, and this upper part up here is protected with the heroes as well. So that's why those are in here. Um, they can be pulled out close to the edge, which is okay. I'm not too worried about that. Um, I just want them to be kind of now, now with the whole boost or with the whole update, they're more like defensive towers. So um, I'm not too worried about them getting pulled out or anything because it's not possible anymore. Um, people are going to have to fully attack in order to uh, in order to mess with them. So let's keep on working our way around, and we're going to bring in a cannon right here, another elixir storage, um, another air defense, and then an archer tower. <clears throat> and then we're going to bring in an archer tower, our air defense right here, elixir storage, and a cannon all the way over here. And we're going to be good. Uh, we can go ahead and save this village. I haven't saved it yet, so we'll press OK on that. Um, we'll go around and collect everything. And I think that this base looks really, really good. I used a lot of my level, uh, let's see how many level uh, 20 or level 9 walls I have. So I, yeah, I do have 25 of them. Um, I use them in core places like right here. 
um, at all three of these points, at these points as well to help protect, just so that once the troops do get in and they can't use wall breakers anymore because they're too far in, they're just going to be beaten on the wall for a really long time while my defenses shoot at them. Um, oh, cool. I guess that's new to the update that I could load um, both of the expos at once. Uh, I didn't see that in the notes, so that's kind of cool. Um, but I am excited about this base design. I think that it's going to work pretty well, especially with protecting my Dark Elixir. As you can see, I only need uh, 1,300 Dark Elixir until I can upgrade my Queen. So, yeah, I'm excited about that for sure because her at level 11 is going to be awesome. Um, I'm going to get 5 more damage per second, 18 more hit points. Um, so, that's good. I mean, <laughs> five, more zam 5 more damage per second isn't too much, but... She does, I wonder what her attack speed is. It doesn't say in the notes. Um, movement speed, 24, whatever. Uh, so, yeah. But I'll let you guys know how this base works out for me. Maybe show you all some replays. Since it is a farming base, a lot of the attacks are going to be, or defenses are going to be losses. Um, just by people dropping troops and taking out the town hall. So, uh, I'm fine with that. I haven't lost that much loot. This person right here was able to get 1300, but that was because I was out of town and they got, I'm pretty sure most of that from my two pumps that are maxed out. So, uh, my pumps around the edges are what's going to give them a good amount because they're maxed out. But that's going to be it for this video guys. I hope that y'all like this base. If you want to try it out, go ahead. Uh, I don't really know what I'm going to call it. Uh, why don't we call it the, uh, yeah, I don't know, diamond? Have I made a diamond base? Let's call it the diamond. I don't know if I've made one or not, but I think that this works when it comes to diamond because of all the different elements in it. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be it, though. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. We're moving on up, over 110,000 subs. Um, go check out this story in the Bible, Daniel 3, if you want to read it. And um, also, guys, use my app nano code. It's down below uh, if you guys want to help me out when it comes to gyms and stuff that I'm going to be using when I stream and things like that. So, yeah. But as always, thank you so much for watching. You guys rock. I really do mean that. And, hey, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later.